What's up guys, Brent here with TheDroidDemos.com bringing you guys another routing tutorial. Today I have the HTC One X. This is the international version. So if you have the AT&T version, unfortunately this method currently does not work for you. Uh, but if for some reason HTC decides that they're going to allow you to unlock the phone using their website, I'll go ahead and put a message on the screen right now letting you know that you can go ahead and move on with this guide. Uh, in the meantime, if you'd like to check out my review of the HTC One X, you can go ahead and click right here. And uh, if you're ready to move on, we can go ahead and get started. Again, this method is for the HTC One X routing on a Mac. So if you'd like to route your phone on Windows, go ahead and click the link right here. Otherwise, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is put our phone in fast boot mode. And to do that, we're going to use the power button and the volume down button. Uh, we're going to press the power button first, press and hold it and then press and hold the volume down button at the same time, holding both buttons until it reboots into fast boot mode. Uh, you'll know because it'll show a white screen with a bunch of text on it. And there we go, so now we can let go. Uh, and then we're gonna select fast boot. Uh, it's already highlighted in blue, so we can go ahead and press the power button to select that. And now it says we're in fast boot. Uh, you'll notice up here it says locked. Um, because we haven't unlocked the phone yet, so uh, just make sure it says that. If it doesn't, you obviously already rooted your phone. Um, now we can uh, connect the phone with the USB cable uh, that came with your phone or when you had, doesn't really matter. Um, got it in there. All right, and on our computer, we can download the 1x root.zip. I already have it right here, um, but if you don't, uh, you can go ahead and download that uh, depending on what browser you download it in. If you download it in Safari, it may automatically unzip it. Uh, but if it doesn't, you can just double click on it. And so now we have this 1x root folder, um, which has all of our files in it. Uh, so now we can go ahead and up open up Terminal. And to do that, we can go ahead and just press a little search uh, or magnifying glass here, type in Terminal. It's got it highlighted, so we can go ahead and press Enter. Mm -hmm. And now, we he now we're here in Terminal. So we need to uh, direct the Terminal to the folder that we just downloaded. So we can do that by typing CD, capital D for downloads, forward slash, capital one, capital X, and root. Make sure you have all those uh, capitalizations correct. Go ahead and press Enter after that. Um, and now you see here it is in that folder. Now we want to go ahead and open up our browser. I uh, use Chrome and we're going to go ahead to htcdev.com. If you don't already have an account, uh, make sure you register. Just go ahead and click register, fill out your information um, and click register. It'll send you an email and then you just click on the link to activate your account. Uh, once you do that, we can go ahead and log in just by doing that. And we're going to go ahead and click Unlock boot Bootloader, and then click Get Started right here, and select your device from this dropdown that shows up. Um, if, the, if the HTC One X is listed here, you can go ahead and select that. If not, you can just click All Other Supported Devices at the very bottom. And then we can go ahead and click Begin Unlock Bootloader. Uh, yes, sorry. We're sure we want to continue. Uh, proceed to unlock instructions uh, after you have selected these checkboxes. And now we can just skip all these steps because we've already done this. Proceed. Uh, go ahead and skip through this because we're not on Windows. Uh, and now you see step eight, um, which is the uh, next command that we're going to do. Um, just a reminder, this will erase everything. Um, so you're only going to be left with things like your pictures and things like that. So uh, it's best to do this when you first get the phone. Um, but if not, just know that all of your apps and things like that will be erased. So make sure to back up your contacts or anything like that. Um, we're going to go ahead and go back to the terminal. Um, just by clicking right there. And we can go ahead and type uh, period forward slash fastboot uh, hyphen Mac space OEM space get underscore identifier 
underscore token. And here's the token it's going to give us from our phone. Uh, highlight from the beginning of these arrows right here all the way to the end of the arrows, arrows pointing to the right. Uh, we can go ahead and copy that. Um, right click copy. And we're going to go ahead and go back to the uh, browser right here. And scroll down and in this My Device Identifier token, just go ahead and right click paste. And we're going to delete all of the infos that show up. So as you see here, um, we can just delete that. And they're on every line. So ma just make sure to delete all of those. All right, so then once you're done with that, uh, it should look just like this. We can go ahead and click Submit. And it says token submitted successfully. It's going to send you an email to the email that you signed up with. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my Gmail, uh, open up the, the uh, email that was sent. I see it here. And in, your, in that email, it's going to have an unlock underscore code dot bin file. We can go ahead and download that. Uh, whatever email you're in, just make sure you download this. You can just click that. It'll go into my downloads folder um, automatically. So we can go into our downloads folder, just go to the finder, go to downloads, and you see the unlock code.bin. So we're going to go ahead and just right click on that and copy unlock uh, code.bin. And we're going to go into the 1x root folder, right click and paste that file here so now we see it uh, in the 1x root folder. Uh, now we can go back to the, to the terminal and uh, right where we were down here, just click there and we're going to go ahead and type period forward slash fastboot hyphen mac space flash space unlock token space space capital unlock underscore code dot bin. And now it's going to write that file on the phone you see here. We have it uh, give this information uh, asking us if we want to unlock the bootloader. We can go ahead and click the volume up button to make sure that yes is selected right here. And then press the power button to select that. And now the phone will reboot. And uh, once the phone reboots, we're going to go ahead and put the phone into uh, disk drive mode. All right, so here we are. We can just go ahead and go in here, uh, put it into disk drive mode. Uh, this is all in Chinese, but um, depending on where you got your phone, it should show up how you want it to. We can just skip this. English. Next, next, just skip through all of this and just make sure that it is put it into disk drive mode. Done. All right, so now on the computer, we can go ahead and uh, go to the 1x root folder. Just right click on C CWN Super SU, just go ahead and click copy. Go into the HTC storage, your phone that showed up in the uh, devices, and uh, let's go ahead and right click and paste item. And that'll put the CWN file right here. And then we can go ahead and eject uh, the HTC storage. Make sure that you eject it or it won't successfully copy over the file. Now we can go ahead and boot our phone into fast boot mode. So again, hold the power button and then hold the volume down button. The phone will, re will reboot into fast boot mode. Here we are in fast boot mode. We can go ahead and press the uh, power button on fast boot. There we go, it says fast boot uh, USB. And on the computer in terminal, right back here, uh, we can go ahead and type period forward slash fast boot Mac space flash, space uh, recovery, 
space recovery.img and it's going to send the recovery file and write it to the phone. And now on our phone we can go ahead and disconnect the cable, um, the USB cable, uh, and you see it's highlight highlighted right here on HBoot. We can go ahead and click the power button to select that, then volume down to highlight recovery, and press the power button to select that, and our phone will reboot into recovery. So here we are in Clockwork Mod. Uh, we can go ahead and just tap on Install Zip from SD Card, and then choose Zip from SD Card, and go ahead and scroll to the bottom and select the CWN Super SU file that we copied over. Click Yes to install. It'll go ahead and install that really quick. Then we can click Go Back, and then select Reboot System Now. And that's it. We're all rooted. So I hope that helped you out. Uh, it's a pretty easy route, pretty quick. But if you have any questions, just be sure to leave a comment, and I will make sure to answer that for you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click subscribe above um, so you can get all the videos that I release in the future. If you like this, cl just click on uh, like below over here. And if you want to share this on Facebook or Twitter, go ahead and do that as well. Again, I'm Brent from thedroiddemos.com, showing you how to route the HTC One X on a Mac. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.